Deep in the money leaps options can be super freaking expensive, but today I'm gonna to show you a strategy that you can use to bring down the cost of these by about 20 to about 25% while offering you the same amount of return. Let's talk about it. Welcome back to Everything Options. My name is Greg, and today we're gonna to be talking about the Zebra option strategy. So to break this video down for you, first we're gonna cover the basics of the strategy, followed up by an actual example how to open one of these trades and how to close it. Then I'm gonna talk about the risk and the reward profile and compare that to owning a leaps option or owning 100 shares of a stock. But before we get into that, if you wanna see more videos like this, make sure to leave a like down below and comment what you wanna see next. So the Zebra option strategy, you're probably making fun of me for calling it Zebra, not Zebra, but this stands for zero extrinsic back ratio, not zero extrinsic back ratio. And zero extrinsic just means that there is basically zero extrinsic value per all the options combined. And yes, you're gonna be opening multiple options with the strategy, and that's where back ratio comes into play. You're gonna be buying two options, you're gonna sell one option against that, so you're long on two options, you're short on one, and that is called back ratio. And the first thing that you're gonna do, just like with any other option strategy, is first set your expiration date. And you can set this to whatever you like, if you wanna do it for a week, if you wanna do it for a month, if you wanna do it for a year, that's gonna be up to you. But just know the longer you set your expiration date out, the more time you give yourself for the stock to move in the direction of your favor. And the second part of every strategy is to find your strike price. And for this, we're gonna be searching by delta values. And if you don't know what delta is, basically this is just the amount of money that you make or lose depending on if your stock goes up or down by $1. And it's also the percent chance your option has at expiring in the money. I made an entire video about the Greeks. You can check it out in the top right corner, but back to our strategy. We're gonna buy two options with a 0.7 delta. We're gonna sell one option against this with a 0.5 delta. And if we do a little bit of quick math here, 0.7 times 2 equals 1.4, minus 0.5 equals 0.9. So this means for every dollar that our stock goes up, we're going to be making $90 on our option. So this 90 delta basically means that we're simulating a deep in the money option. And if you've ever bought a deep in the money leaps option, you know that they're super expensive. And with the Zebra strategy, this is going to offer you between a 20 to about a 25% discount from what I've seen so far. So this means that you're putting less money down and you're getting similar returns, which I think is really cool. And to really help you with the strategy, I'm gonna show you an actual example with the best stocks, the best strike prices, the best expiration dates, and so on. But before we get into that, if you wanna see what options I'm trading every day, I post all my trade alerts to my premium Discord. You can find that in my Patreon, link down in the pinned comment below. The best stocks for the strategy are gonna be stocks that have a consistent trend. This can be an uptrend, this can be a downtrend if you wanna use put options instead, but I'm gonna be betting on the upside with call options. And the best stocks that are in an uptrend right now would be Facebook, Apple, Microsoft, Google, and more recently, AMD. And I like AMD the best because I think that the semiconductor industry is super undervalued right now, especially AMD considering its growth over the past year. So I'm betting on AMD stock going up with call options. The first thing that I'm gonna do whenever I open these options is set my expiration date to September of 2022. So this is actually a little bit more than a year out right now, and this is gonna give me enough time for AMD stock to move in the direction of my favor. So I'm betting on AMD stock going up, so it could trade flat over the next few months, but then if it goes up after that, I could still make a profit. The next step in the strategy is going to be to find an option with a 0.7 delta. And we're gonna be using call options since we think that AMD stock is gonna go up. So we're gonna look for a call option with a 0.7 delta. And to find the delta value, you click right at the bid ask spread right underneath the limit price. It's gonna pull up this nice little menu. And then delta is gonna be underneath the Greeks at the bottom. So we're gonna buy two of these $95 calls with a 0.696 delta, which is pretty close to our 0.7 criteria. It doesn't have to be exact, but it's close enough. And then the next step in the strategy is going to be to find an option with a 0.5 delta. And we're not gonna change the expiration date at all. It's gonna be exactly the same. And we're gonna sell that option. So we're gonna sell this $120 call with a 0.5 delta. And this is going to bring down the cost of buying our two call options. So if we combine all these options, the total cost of this is going to be 3605. And if we total the delta values, 70 plus 70 minus 50, we get a delta of 90. So for every dollar that AMD stock goes up, we're gonna be making $90 and for every dollar that it goes down, we're gonna be losing that same $90. So this is basically simulating a deep in the money call option with a 0.9 delta, but at a much reduced cost by about 20 to about 25%. If we look for a deep in the money leaps option with the same expiration date and a 0.9 delta, the 65 call right here is going for 45.50, 
versus our Zebra options going for $36.05. So we're paying almost $1,000 more for this, but with the Zebra options, we're getting the same amount of return than we would with this 0.9 Delta call option. Whenever you wanna close these options, this is gonna be up to you and your choice. You can do this on a percent profit or a percent loss that you're willing to take. You can do this on a dollar amount. You can do it at price targets whatever you want but whenever you want to close it you're going to do the opposite of how you opened it so you're going to sell your 0.7 delta call options and then you're going to buy back the 0.5 delta call option this means for our example we would be selling the 295 dollars call options and then we would buy to close the 120 dollars call option and for this we're going to get paid a credit and if that credit is worth more than the debit that we paid for these options then we're going to be at a profit but if it's less then we're going to be at a loss and the best part about the strategy I already talked about, but it offers a pretty sweet discount. And because you get this discount, you're putting less money down. Inherently, you're taking on less risk. We would have paid $4,550 for the deep in the money leaps option with a 0.9 delta. This means that we could lose as much as $4,550 if this trade goes south on us and if AMD is trading below $65 on our expiration date out in September of 2022. On the other hand, with our Zebra option strategy, we can only lose as much as we put down, which was $3,605. So we're taking on $1,000 less risk, but the problem here is there's a big gap between the $65 call option and the $95 call option. There's a $30 difference there. This means if AMD was trading below $95 on our expiration date, we'd lose the entire $3,605 from the Zebra options whereas the deep in the money leaps option would still have $3,000 of intrinsic value. We would have paid $4,550 in order to open that, and if it was trading for $3,000 of intrinsic value at its expiration date, we would only be taking a $1,550 loss versus $3,605 from the Zebra options. So this means that the downside on a Zebra option is gonna be much greater upon the expiration date, but in the near term, it's gonna see the exact same results as you would with a deep in the money leaps option since it has the same delta value. Both of these strategies have a 0.9 delta, which is similar to owning 90 shares of the company. Since for every dollar that AMD stock goes up, if you have 90 shares, you're gonna be making $90. But 90 shares right now would cost you around $10,000, whereas the deep in the money leaps option would cost us $45.50, so 45% and then the Zebra option would only cost us 36.05, 36% of what 90 shares would cost us. So this means that you're getting similar returns as owning 90 shares of the company, but one third of the cost, which is really great. But at the same time, it does bring on more risk. If AMD stock was to go from 108 right now to under $95 on our expiration date out in September, we would lose the whole $3,605 that we put down for our Zebra options, but with the 90 shares, we would only lose $13 times 90 shares for a total loss of $1,170. That's a lot less than $3,605, but that's just the risk that you assume whenever you're trading options. That's just part of it. You can only lose what you put down on the Zebra option strategy though, which I think is really great. But at the same time, there is one risk that you have to worry about, and that is early assignment risk. Early assignment happens whenever the buyer for the option you sold to them exercises their end of the option early, which means that you're gonna be assigned on your short call and you'll have to sell 100 shares of the stock. But in order to negate this, you can pull out the reverse UNO card and exercise one of your long options. And in this case, you're gonna be buying 100 shares of the stock at your long strike price selling 100 shares of your stock at your short strike price. So for example, we'd be buying 100 shares of AMD at $95, selling 100 shares at $120, and a brokerage is gonna take care of this for us since these trades balance themselves out. After exercising your long option and being assigned early on your short option, you should still have one option left over that you bought, and you can just ride along with this. If you think that the stock is gonna to continue to go up, you're gonna be making money just like you would with a leaps option. In general though, you never wanna ride your options into their expiration date because as time goes by, theta is gonna eat away your options more and more and more. And generally you wanna sell your options between 30 to 45 days until the expiration date. Again, whenever you wanna close is gonna be up to you, but this is just the best rule of thumb. And that's pretty much all I got for you for the Zebra option strategy today. Thanks for making it all the way to the end of this video and thank you to all my patrons for the support. And as always, remember to stay positive, stay green. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys.